In this video, you will learn how to configure and use call flow controls. From the UCX web-based configuration utility, click on the PBX tab. From the left side column, select call flow control. Call flow control is used to create a switch or toggle that can be changed by anyone who has access to a local phone. Call flow toggles are typically used to allow phone system users to switch between daytime mode and nighttime mode. In the first field, Call Flow Toggle Feature Code Index, you can select an index from 0 to 20. Each index will control a different Call Flow Toggle, so when you use the Call Flow Toggle Feature Code, you will add the index number to the feature code. In the Description field, you want to enter something to describe the toggle. In current mode, select the initial status of your toggle. We will select normal. For the next two fields, recording for normal mode, recording for override mode, you can use the system default or create your own recording. To create your own recording, go to the system recordings page. Once the recording is created, it will appear in this drop down list. The password field is optional. If you leave it blank, then anyone with access to a phone connected to the UCX will be able to use the feature code to toggle the call flow. Enter a password in this field if you want password authentication before granting access to the call flow toggle. We will enter the password 1234 as an example. How you want your incoming calls to be routed is basically determined by how you configure the next two fields. Normal flow and override flow. Let's use an example to illustrate. On a normal workday, your company has a receptionist answering all incoming calls. Therefore, under normal flow, we will select the extension for the receptionist. Sometimes the receptionist has to step away from the desk, so when the receptionist is away, you want calls to go to the company's directory. So under Override Flow, you select Directory. Click Save to create the call flow. The feature code that is used to toggle this call flow is now shown on the page. You see the code star 280 is listed. You can change this default feature code by going to the feature codes page. On the right side column, you now see the call flow toggle that we just created is listed in green. That means the toggle is currently in normal flow mode. I will now change the current mode to override. We save and apply. On the right side column now, you can see the call flow toggle is listed in red. That means it is in override mode. Call flow control can be used by any module that has a destination field to route incoming calls. Basically, this includes all modules under inbound call control. In our example, we will go to inbound routes to add the call flow control that we had just created. We select the inbound route that is routing calls to the reception's extension. Now, instead of going directly to the extension, we will replace it with the call flow control that was created. Click Submit and Apply. Next, we want to program a key on the receptionist Nortel phone that can be used to toggle the call flow. Go to the Nortel Extensions page and select the phone. We go down to the Keys section.
select other, enter the feature code star 280, that's for the call flow toggle, and give it a descriptive name. Click Submit Changes. and apply. Now we show you how to activate the call flow control toggle from a Nortel phone where we had the call flow control feature code program on a key. If you look at this Nortel phone, you can see we had the key program and labeled as away. Please enter your password followed by number sign. Thank you. Zero. Activated. If you look at the key now, you can see that the key displays an icon to indicate that the call flow control is now activated. That means the call flow control is in override mode. You can activate and deactivate the call flow control toggle from any phone connected to the UCX. So from a different phone where we did not have the key program, we can just use the feature code. We dial star 280 followed by the pound sign. Please enter your password followed by number sign. Thank you. Zero. Deactivated. From the Nortel phone with the feature key, you can see it shows the status is now deactivated. This completes our tutorial on call flow control.